For God so loved the world that his only son he gave. He sent his truth into the world, not to condemn it, but to save. And Jesus is God's truth. He's the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh to the Father. Accept your faith in Jesus Christ. If you continue in my word, my disciples you will be. You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. The word of God is true, sharper than any two-edged sword. Side of truth is law, the other grace in Christ our Lord. Law shows the sinfulness of sin, grace God's favor through His Son. The law says what we ought to do, grace says in Jesus it is done. All who live by law are cursed, for the just shall live by faith. Christ has redeemed us from the curse. Trusting Him is saving grace. To understand God's truth, you must first believe His love. For the bondage of the law was not what God was thinking of. Through the law, His heart of mercy cried, Do not sin, for you will die. Then in grace, He sent His precious Son to forever pay sin's price. If a law could give us life, Jesus would not have had to die. It is by grace that you are saved, not works. It is by faith you justify. The things we do are works. The source is either self or Christ. If we're prompted by God's Spirit, this is faith and this is love. When it's self-doing, not doing, we're tying apples on the tree, not letting God produce the fruit, self-motivated and deceived. Jesus has fulfilled the law, to rest from works is to believe, flesh works so hard to please the Father. By faith that he is pleased. Grace is God's favor and goodwill. His heart's desire that we be well. His thoughts for us of love and blessing are more than any man can tell. Victory is intently looking at God's word of grace until we're not hoping he can help us. We are knowing that he will. Faith's not believing with your head, but being certain in your heart by hearing love instead of law and knowing who in Christ you are. Faith isn't hard, it's easy when we hear and hear God's word. For supernatural faith and power come with every word that's heard. To hear his word is to receive it and meditate and give it place. The Holy Spirit will reveal it. This revelation is our faith. Grace works by faith. Faith works by love. Without God's love, you're under law. Let go of hurt and condemnation. Let Jesus fill you with his love. There is no fear in love. Perfect love casts out all fear. And when we speak the truth in love, that's when the hearer hears. Truth must be living in your heart source of everything you say, then it will move your mountains. This is the victory of faith. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask me anything you will, and it shall be done for you. Words I speak to you, they are speaking.
spirit, life, and truth.